In Creel Parametric, the Variable Pool Direction Draft tool allows you to create taper in your models when the traditional draft tool does not allow it because of curvature. Let's take a look at this part. I have a toroidal bend in here that's creating curvature in multiple different directions. Let's say that we want to apply some draft to the surfaces over here. I will click on the draft tool and then pick a couple surfaces that I want to draft. If I go to the References tab, the first indication that there's a problem is that there's a yellow dot next to the surfaces in the Draft Surfaces Collector. Let's activate the Draft Hinges Collector, and when I put my mouse over the model, the geometry in the area of the surfaces I want to draft isn't highlighting. There's only really a couple surfaces over here that it's allowing me to pick, but it's nowhere near what I want to, where I want to create the draft. It's not allowing me to select a draft hinge. So let's cancel out of here and go to the drop down menu and choose variable pull direction draft. If I go to the references tab, you'll notice that the main collector in here is for the pull direction. And when you're selecting a surface for the pull direction, it can be a surface that has curvature like this particular surface over here. Again, the surface has curvature. This allows a variable pull direction. Next, we are going to select our draft hinges. I will click in the collector to activate it. Let's select a surface over here. By seeing the orange preview, that's the first indication that we are able to create some taper in here. So I'll drag it out a little bit. Let's hold down the control key and select the next edge over. And then we can see how we're getting our draft in here. Let's drag it out to about 10 degrees or so. I'll double click on the dimension to change it. So that looks good for this side. One other difference between the variable pull direction draft tool and the standard draft tool is that you can have multiple sets within the same feature. I'll click on new set over here and then let's select this edge and this edge over here. And this time I'll drag it out to about, well, let's get eight degrees. Overshot it a little bit. Let's numerically change it. And let's do one more set in here. I'll select this edge and the corresponding edge on the other side. And right now we've got one degree of draft. Let's change this four degrees, five degrees. That is good in the model. A few other things to note about the interface. You have the ability to define split surfaces if you want to have a split running through your draft surfaces. Also, you can have multiple angles along your different references. You can have a variable draft angle as well. I'll show the options tab in the next set of surfaces that we apply draft to. I wanna show you over here. Let's go to where we have a little more even complex geometry because of the curvature of this surface over here. Let's create a new variable pull draft feature. And once again, I will select the surface that I want to use as the pull direction. Again, you can see it's got even more curvature. Let's now use the right mouse button to activate the draft hinges collector. And I will select this edge over here. Let's hold down the control key and grab another edge. And now let's grab the corresponding edges on the other side as well. And drag this out to a big enough angle that you are capable of seeing. And make it a nice big 15 degrees. Uh, one interesting note about this feature, this was introduced around Wildfire 5.0. And with this feature, you could create draft angles in excess of 30 degrees. The standard draft tool didn't allow that until around Creo Parametric 2.0. So this had some advances uh, over that particular, uh, even the standard draft tool back then. Let's go to the options tab. Right now we have the default, which is to attach the new geometry to the solid or the quilt. You also have the 
option to create a new quilt entirely. You can see that we have it open on the sides over here. And when you're creating this new quilt, we actually have a depth dimension for the length of the new quilt that's being created. In addition, you have the, the drop down list where you could choose different depths like to selected or to next. But let's go and change this back to being attached to the solid. And hit the check mark or middle mouse button in order to complete the feature. So there again, you have this additional capability with the variable pull direction draft feature when you can't use the typical usual draft tool. I hope you enjoyed this video. For more information, please visit www creowindchill.com. If you learned something from this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you like this video, please click the subscribe button to be informed when new videos are uploaded. Thank you very much.